So now that you've completed the testing with the student, we're gonna go and score it. So we're gonna add up, so we're here at 28, and we're gonna look how far we go until we get to three zeros. So if there's three zeros, that's where you stop. You go back and you do 32 test items times two is 64. That's your total. And you put it at the end, right here, end of subtest for hand manipulation raw score. And then you were gonna do that for eye-hand coordination. Um, you're gonna figure out what the total score is and so 28 times two, and then we're gonna keep adding anything to that total score until you get to here, the three zeros, that tells you to stop. And so then the total for this section is 66. So you take 64 and 66 subtests, and we're gonna go to the PDMS3 website and you're gonna log in and you're gonna insert, you're gonna put the student's name and um, date of birth and test time or the test date, and you're gonna put in the raw scores. And once you do that, it's gonna generate a um, standard summary report. So here is the raw score for hand manipulation and then eye hand coordination. And then they're gonna, from you putting in that basic information, they're gonna do, give you age equivalent percentile scaled score, and then the information on borderline impaired or delayed. So that descriptive term. Next, I used, um, used the scaled scores and, and determined the standard deviation by um, using the score of 65 from the index score, that's the composite index, the total, and then I went to a composite of 65 using the Peabody, um, Peabody 2, and 65 was negative 2.33 standard deviations. And I included that in my write-up. So when you go online, you can get a uh, narrative that is available from the website, but it's really extensive in terms of length. And it includes the gross motor sections in it as well. So to put into my evaluation report, I thought it would be too much. So I created my own.